Hello everyone, this is Jake as Mom, and I am reviewing the Steam game called Julie's Sweets. Now this is a fun, casual type game. It's sort of like a better version of Diner Dash, which is a game you can get on mobile. You know, like on your phone or iPad or tablet and I think it's a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. I played the entire game in one day over 12 hours. I was obsessed with this game and I didn't expect to like it that much. I thought it would be just like Diner Dash but it actually is better it has a little bit of a story you know it doesn't really need the story but it was kind of interesting and uh, you also get to customize some of the menus and um, there are challenges you can you, there's a cat that pops up on the screen that you can try to click for every every level or uh, you could try to get uh, as much money as possible to get three stars, though that's not required. And then there's a goal of every level, at, such as to make sure that you don't skip like the counter people, like you have to serve to every counter person, make sure none of them get too impatient and leave. Um, I played on the easiest setting, so nobody ever left in, in any level, even the hardest ones. Um, but, you know, I think, I think there's three different difficulty settings. Um, anyways, uh, I really enjoy the game. I definitely recommend it. Now, if you want to play it to record... I had uh, problems with the game. Uh, if I clicked out of the game, it would sometimes crash. And if I tried to play not in full screen, it would crash. Now, uh, looking in the discussions in Steam, it seems that some people do have a lot of problems with the crashing, but if you can uh, get the uh, the uh, I forget what it's called the the file that generates uh, the crash report file and give it to the developer through through the that. Uh, the Steam discussions, they actually try to fix it for you. And uh, I, even recently, I can see that it, it's been addressed. And this game came out in 2018, so they're still uh, trying to make it so that people can play this. So I was impressed by that. I'm impressed by this game. Uh, it has Steam Achievements, Steam Cloud, it doesn't have cards, uh, uh, trading cards, that's fine with me. Uh, it is a normal price of $10. I don't know if... it's. It depends on if you're gonna... I don't know. It it might be a fair price, might be that I just expect this type of game to be cheaper, but you could always wait till it goes on sale on Steam and uh when there's a sale and get it then. I really enjoy this game. My only complaints were that it would crash sometimes and I couldn't play it outside of full screen. And, uh, 
that's about it. I, I, I enjoyed this game. I don't know if I'll play it again now that I've completed everything in it. Maybe if I have a few moments and there's, you know, this is the type of game I'm in the mood for. Um, but yeah, it it's a fun game. It is also a game that you could probably have your kids play. Um, the main character in the story is an adult, of course, and she is in college and there is one scene where she c comes into the dorm and her roommate is with a guy and they're they're like uh we're busy uh didn't you see the sock on the door or something and i don't know you might have to explain that to a, a little kid also a little kid might get frustrated with uh, the harder difficulties in uh, the later levels. Uh, but, you know, as, if you're letting your child play this, you know your child, you, you should anyways, and you would know if this is going to frustrate them more than have them enjoy it. So, you know, it's uh, something to think about. Anyways, thank you very much to the developers for giving me a key for review for this game. I'm sorry, I was uh, unwell for a long period of time and wasn't able to review it sooner. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!